good to be a part of the Austin scene right now. It's it's, it's really fun. Yeah, I, most exciting time in Austin there, there's ever been as far as food goes, you know? Yeah. I really think that. It's like a renaissance. Yeah, it keeps growing every year, and it's just nice to have a slew of restaurants opening. You know, even this year, there's so many that have started, just with Elizabeth Street and, mm -hmm. you know, many things that are to come. So it's a fun place to be right now for food. And they're all quality, too, aren't they? Yeah. Like, I mean, I, we travel a lot in a lot of cities that I eat in, and um, coming to Austin, it always seems like it's just pretty spot on. People just, I think, care so much here for what little that they have since it's a hard place to grow. Um, you can go to Napa and you can go to all these amazing places where you're, you know, slipping on figs and kicking apples on your way to work. It's like the Chef Oompa Loompa land. And uh, you come here and people just make a go of it and it's brilliant. Yeah, it's so, so cool that like the old school, like awesome mentality, like <clears throat> helps like people with no money or like just, you know, some kind of like yeah, little right. pipe dream, like actually get stuff together. And yeah. Like, oh, cause we're in Austin. Like you couldn't pull it off <laughs> like almost anywhere else, you know? It's what it really echoes. I was watching uh, Bourdain's new show last night. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was in San Francisco, and I, I think there's a lot of similarities with what Austin's becoming, what San Francisco already is. Mm -hmm. You know, whereas it's that mentality and pop-ups and startups and trailers, and it's so cool. You know, and it's the local and it's the it's the community support and the the social side that helps that helps mm -hmm. the pipe dreams come true. Yeah, right? and the vibrancy of the community. You know, it's a young city. Thank you.